Hey guys, I'm Vanessa from Blush Wedding Photography and today I'm going to be taking you through a traditional run sheet. The first stop is the boys. Usually it would be about half an hour to 45 minutes. We would do details, clothing getting put on, candid stuff and group stuff. So then I would move on to the girls. Usually I would spend about an hour to an hour and a half as there's just a lot more to kind of do with the girls um, and it takes longer to get ready, come on. Um, so hair and makeup would already be done by the time that I arrive. Um, could still be there for some touch-up shots but usually that's all done. Um, I come in, we do the details, we do candid stuff, we do dress stuff, we get the dress on and then obviously beauty stuff and everything that's kind of in that, like everyone's dress, so family stuff. Then I would head over to the venue for the ceremony. Usually I would get there about half an hour to 45 minutes before the ceremony is to start. I like to introduce myself to the celebrant, the musicians, the venue coordinator and make sure I can get some shots of the, um, the setup and um, the area without too many people in it. We also obviously get the candid shots of people arriving, big hugs, all that kind of stuff. Ceremony begins and traditional Australian ceremony is usually about half an hour. Um, that's when you don't add in, you know, too many readings and all that kind of thing. Church ceremony is longer usually and anything with any kind of traditional aspect is obviously going to be a bit longer too. After the ceremony is when I would usually set up for a group shot. And then after that would be the family photos. Group shot usually takes about 10 or 15 minutes and then family photos can be anywhere from 15 minutes to half an hour. During the family photos, I would always work with a family member who knows who people are and is able to collect them and gather them so that the session can run really smooth. After the family photos is when we would head out to do the bridal party and couple session. So usually about an hour is enough time um, if you're not heading too far away from the venue. Most ceremonies are around a three, four o'clock mark. So if you do about an hour of formal photos, then you can be back into your reception by 6, 6.30, um, which seems to work really well. After your formal photos is when I would suggest taking a five or 10 minute break, just to spend a little bit of time together to kind of reflect on the ceremony and what just happened. I feel like the day goes really, really fast and it's a really nice time to just, yeah, kind of take a minute, take stock, how do we feel? Yeah, enjoy it, um, be in that moment is really, is really important. So then you would have your entrance into your reception and basically the reception is run more or less by the venue coordinator. They know their service times, they know when the speeches will run best. Trust your coordinators, they know what's going on, but remember that it is still your day and if you want to do things slightly different, you should be able to. So if you want to come in and cut the cake straight away um, because you know that your photographer is leaving and you want to get some of those formalities out of the way, go for it. If you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you all here next week.